Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the Tim Hortons Iced Cap or Iced Cappuccino. This has been a very popular item at Tim Hortons for many years. And I remember when I was young, just looking forward to getting one of these. Didn't really drink coffee at the time, but Iced Caps were all the rage back then. Because they taste good. So I'm gonna get into this here. It is a little bit higher in calories. It's kind of like a Frappuccino in a sense. Um, having like a blended ice kind of deal to it, but here we go. Classic ice cap taste. It's sweet. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like ice cream almost, coffee ice cream. I guess that's the best way to put it. The ice cap also comes in a light version. You also get a caramel, vanilla, and a mocha version of the ice cap. So there's many different flavors, but the original ice cap is still very good. We got the Beebs Brew cup here. Kind of funny, but yeah, it's good. It's very sweet, and it does kind of remind me of ice cream. I guess that's the best way to put it. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like the uh, Starbucks espresso frappuccino, which is kind of a similar concept to this. The Starbucks drink is a bit more bitter, tastes like coffee. This is sweet, tastes like cream and ice cream, I guess, but it's really good. So yeah, there's a light version with less calories, kind of like a milk made uh, iced coffee. It's very good though, I really like it. So on a scale of one to 10, I'd give the Tim Hortons iced cap an 8.5 out of 10. I really like this drink because it's so flavorful. It's got that texture and consistency of, I don't know, a frappuccino kind of like drink. And I really like that consistency. So it's, it's very enjoyable to drink, but yeah. There's a lower calorie version, the light ice cap, which still tastes as good. It's not as sweet, but there's days where I prefer it over this one. So it really just depends on your preferences for the day. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.